friends, it's Sonia Miller of Junk Monkey Paint Company. Come into my studio because we're gonna make and create today. I'm excited because I found these two made in China, $2 a piece, and you know we love some candle holders, and every time I paint candle holders, they always sell. So I have grabbed this set right here, and we're gonna put our own spin onto them by using our Junk Monkey Chalky Style paint sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. So I don't care what these are made of. It just gives me the power to make and create however I feel, knowing my paint's gonna stick. You know what I'm saying? You ever have like, when you look at something, you ever have a thought that comes to you? That's your intuition, that's your experience, that's your, that's your, just your uh, inside saying we should totally do that with it. So for me as an artist, as a painter, as a creator, I love to let the objects or the thing, the piece of furniture, whatever, the space, guide me to what it should be. So when I hold these in my hands and I look at them, I'm, I immediately think how fun would these be with some color on them because they're looking pretty brownie, frowny, red, kind of right now and they're just they just they just need an update you know what I'm saying they look a little out of date I never really have a plan we just start I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one today you of course could grab any size brush that you have and grab a bunch of the chalky style paint that you love I have got some red apple I've got be my honey I've got Liberty blue this is candy bar brown this is mouse in the house and honestly this and also I also grabbed some sweet sunset that was nearby me here so honestly pick any fun colors that you want if there's any sort of vibe that you want to give off whether it's ocean or whether it's just fun and eclectic boho shabby you name it because quite honestly all we're gonna be doing is putting a collection of these colors together have you ever seen the paintings that are around right now where they're done with your fingers and this is the other tool that you could use which is your fingers as well you could go straight into the paint and do this so for example I would go into my mouse in the house and I put a streak of paint right there okay just like that and then I would wipe my finger and I would go into the next color this one right here is candy bar brown and we would go ahead and add a little bit of brown right next to it okay and it's going to be the buildup of all these colors and those little swatches of colors that's gonna be perfect let's go into a little bit of the be my honey Ooh, look at that pretty huh so those are the three colors now I'm gonna go ahead and put some good music on and you can watch me how I bring this to life it's gonna to look totally different when it's done cannot positively mess this up. Now we just be patient and let it dry. All right, these are dry now. Oh, I love all the colors all over them. And now what I'm gonna do is just grab a sand block and of course do some distressing. So the color that's below all the paint, that existing finish that was on the piece is now going to come through. Which in this case was a little brownie frowny. grab my banana peel poly sealer what it's gonna do is protect my paint job now I have done these in super distressed shabby fashion which is what I love but remember you could also add some of our metallic paint and poly sealer all-in-one which will give it a really cool look you could also use our antiquing glaze and like the in any of the colors the black the brown the teal or the white that will give it an entirely different look as well I'm gonna leave these vivacious vibrant in color and let's Let's go ahead and do that seal. Remember, you put it on and it does dry clear. And I'm just loving how they are coming together. Super, super cool. They're just really shabby, colorful, boho, fun. And of course, I could see these with some, um, with some really, maybe some white candles. This is one that I have here in my studio here, just to kind of give you an idea. But I think they're gonna be super, super cool, right? 
I'm gonna need a second one. Two white candles or two cream candles would be beautiful. Just another fun way to do something fun today with paint and some junk that you find in your travels. Whatever way you decide to do it with your Junk Monkey Paint, make sure you drop it into Junk Monkey Paint Projects, our free sharing group over on Facebook so we can check out everything that you're making and creating. We can all share in the joy. All right guys, that was my quick flip of the day. I will be back again tomorrow because you guys know I am a daily vlogger. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Question of the day, do you enjoy painting with your fingers? Are you okay with getting your fingers in paint? Let me know. All right, see you guys tomorrow, bye.